All right, dear students, we have a question today, and with the name of Elodie and Harsha. Basically, it's a partnership accounts question, and uh, there is a service business also involved. It is not a trading business. Now, let me read the question. Without further ado, Elodie and Harsha are partners in transporting delivery business. Okay, transport delivery business is there. The partnership agreement states that. Now, there are some things written about the partnership. Then we have some list of balances also there and we have some adjustments and the first requirement that we need to solve is we need to make delivery vehicle accounts. Now beta, whenever the examiner says you need to prepare delivery vehicle account this means we need to prepare delivery vehicle cost account okay. So there are two types of accounts one is the cost account and secondly beta, we have provision for depreciation account also known as accumulated depreciation now here the examiner clearly mentions that we need to make uh, delivery vehicle accounts means we need to make delivery vehicle cost account now let's see how to prepare a cost account better first of all let me put the heading delivery vehicle account means delivery vehicle cost account now better delivery vehicles are basically assets in nature so the assets are debit in nature so therefore the balance BD must always comes on the debit side if balance brought down beta is coming on the debit side then the balance CD must come on the opposite side that is credit side okay now let us see beta how many vehicles we had at the start of the year so here it is written in the list of balances better we have delivery vehicles that cost 140,000 okay delivery vehicles cost 140,000 and let us read the note number three adjustment in note number three the examiner says that on 15th of December now first of all we need to see when it is the year is ending but a year is ending on December 16 so the year must have been started on January 16 okay so let us first of all write a balance brought down we have delivery vehicles how many we have delivery vehicles worth 140,000 sterling okay so let's write delivery vehicles 140,000 at the start of the year so the year must have been started on 1st January 2016 now have we bought or sold any vehicles this year we need to see on 15th of December beta uh, that is current year at the end of basically this, this year delivery vehicle B was traded in traded in and replaced by delivery vehicle S. F. So what happened beta we gave away one of the vehicle that was vehicle B and instead of that uh, we bought in exchange another vehicle which was named as vehicle F okay so the balance of the purchase price for delivery vehicle F was on credit from speed garage so therefore this is the name of the supplier whom we have bought uh, the new vehicle and the sold old vehicle to him as well so no entries have been made in the books the details of delivery vehicle b and f are as follows so basically the vehicle that we have sold this year had originally cost us how much 14000 and the vehicle that we have bought this year that was vehicle f okay the vehicle that we have bought this year the total purchase price was 25,000 and sir uh, for how much we have sold this vehicle we have sold this vehicle at a trade-in value of 4,000 so this means uh, this is just like the case when you buy a new phone for example for 25,000 and we have given the old phone that was worth 4,000 and we have to pay the difference that is 21,000 now if you can see the difference better between the two the new vehicle was for 25 and the old vehicle was sold for how much 4000 so basically uh, we need to pay 21000 why i'm saying need to pay because we haven't yet paid uh, to our supplier so therefore it's written we have to pay the difference to speed garage okay speed garage is one of our supplier better whom we need to pay the difference between the two vehicles so beta whenever we buy the vehicle so the entry is normally vehicle debit and bank or supplier credit but the thing is that do we need to pay uh, do we still owe total 25,000 to speed garage uh, 
or less than that but uh, we have given 4000 vehicle as well so therefore we are only now obliged to pay 21000 to the supplier okay so we are going to write vehicle debit and speed garage account credit okay speed garage is basically the supplier whom we have bought the new vehicle and whom we have sold the existing vehicle and what was the date on the sale better date of sale was 15 december 2016 now basically better the vehicle was was not for 21000 the vehicle was for 25000 and the remaining 4000 we have given in the old vehicle so we need to write disposal and we can uh, we should also write part exchange or trade in okay part exchange or trade in means the same thing so we need to write that uh, out of this 25000 we need to pay this 21000 and this 4000 was basically old vehicle given and you must also remember better whenever we sell one of the vehicle we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it to disposal account so the entry that we need to make whenever we the sell the non-current asset vehicle account should be created and disposal would be debited by the original cost okay what was the original cost of the vehicle that we have sold better original cost was 14,000 now it's time to balance this t account better let us see which uh, which is the biggest side the biggest side is obviously debit side because machine is an asset okay so the biggest side must always be the debit side 140,000 plus 21 plus 4 okay so these are total 165,000 out of this 165 beta we have sold vehicle worth what so not not worth but the original cost was 14,000 so at the end of the year we are left with motor vehicles worth 151,000 so this would be the year end date 31st December now as you can see both of the sides are now balance and this balance carried down better would at 31st December 2016 would becomes balance brought down at the start of next accounting period after 16 would becomes 2017 1st January and the balance brought down is now 151,000 now let us see the better the second requirement which second requirement we do have this question second requirement is we need to prepare disposal account but if you remember correctly whenever we make disposal account basically there are four entries that we need to make to prepare a disposal account there are four entries basically the first entry is for the original cost of the asset that we have sold okay first entry relates to the original cost second entry is what second entry is for total depreciation till date also known as provision for depreciation third entry is for the amount that we have sold the asset for and the last entry beta would be for the gain or the loss okay let us see beta we are talking about delivery vehicle b now because we have sold which of the vehicle vehicle b and vehicle b originally cost us how much 14,000 so the entry would be better disposal would be debited and motor vehicle account would be created this is the first entry that we need to prepare disposal debit and motor vehicle would be created and the dates would be, would be writing would be the date on which we have actually bought the new vehicle and at the same time sold the old vehicle now sir what was the total depreciation till date on the asset that we have sold the total depreciation till date was 5000 but the thing is that this depreciation is for only till 1st january 2016 now the question arises do we need to charge depreciation this year on the asset that we have sold yes or no so for that we need to read the depreciation policy so beta for delivery vehicles the policy is 20 percent reducing balance okay reducing balance depreciation beta would be what on the net book so beta policy is reducing balance and on reducing balance we charge depreciation on the book value and the question has stated no depreciation in the year of purchase and full depreciation is charged in the year of sale so therefore beta it means we also need to charge depreciation for the current year okay so normally the policy is uh, we charge full year depreciation in the year of purchase and no depreciation in the year of sale but here it is opposite it's written no depreciation in the year of purchase and full year depreciation in the year of sale 
So what we need to do beta, we need to charge this year depreciation as well prior to selling this asset. Now what is the entry for disposal? So the disposal entry is provision for depreciation that is usually credit. Now we need to debit the provision account and we, when we need to debit the provision for depreciation account beta, we need to credit the disposal account. Now how to calculate this amount we need to do some working in order to calculate this year depreciation as well. Now let us see beta. So balance BD is already given. We are already being, already being given uh, the total provision till date. And how much is it? Let's see. The total depreciation till date on 1st January 2016 is given and that is 5000. So beta we need to charge this year's depreciation as well. The total depreciation that we had at the start of the year was how much? It was 5000 and we need to charge depreciation this year as well. Depreciation for 2016. So sir how to charge depreciation? It's basically reducing balance. We need to take the cost and we need to deduct provision first. Cost is beta 14000 and provision is how much? 5000. So the book value that we are left with is 9000. So we need to apply 20% on 9000 and this would be 1800. So the provision now, the total provision that we had is 6800. Okay. So this 6800 need to be transferred to where disposal account. And again, the dates would be 15 December. The dates that we had, uh, the date of disposal of the asset. Now the third entry is beta whenever we sell the asset uh, we uh, make an entry bank would be debited okay and disposal account would be credited. Now actually we haven't received cash when we sold this delivery vehicle B instead of getting cash beta we are getting what we are getting another vehicle okay. So instead of writing cash or bank here we will be writing motor vehicles okay because we are getting an allowance to buy the new vehicle so instead of writing cash or bank here we need to write motor vehicle or delivery vehicle account so first adjustment is bit better for the original cost second entry is for the total provision third entry is for the amount that is received on disposal and finally better last entry would be for the gain or loss so how to calculate gain or loss beta the cost was 14,000 and the total provision till date was 6,800. So basically the net book value or carrying value of the asset at the time of disposal was 7,200. But we have sold the asset for how much? We have sold the asset for 4,000. Basically we have sold it for less than its book value. If we are selling it for less than its book value then therefore beta it is a loss on disposal. Okay, so the loss entry would be income statement would be debited and provision account would be credited. So we need to write income statement or statement of profit and loss. Okay, so this is the loss that we need to chart to income statement of profit and loss. Now, but the important thing to remember is that the disposal account doesn't have any balance brought down or carried down. Okay, the this is the account that uh, should balance automatically. So we need to balance this and we can see there are no balance carried down or brought down left. So this is a temporary account disposal account and this is only used whenever we need to record the gain or loss or disposal and the income statement uh, adjustment would not be made on 15 December. Instead we are going to write the date as 31st December. The next requirement beta that we need to solve, we need to make statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income. Okay, including an appropriation section. So what is this a statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income beta? It is basically another name for income statement. Okay, so in some qualifications such as the edXL, the examiner, instead of writing income statement, examiner writes statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income. Okay. So basically we need to prepare an income statement and we need also need to prepare an appropriation account okay appropriation section. So let us see beta how to prepare an income statement okay. So beta income statement uh, if you are aware uh, we usually make income statement in two columns 
okay we need to prepare the income statement in two columns let me draw up the columns and then we can start making an income statement income statement is usually made in two columns but if these two columns are not debit or credit these are just for illustration purposes okay b part one i am writing heading as income statement and appropriation account in exam normally you have the headings part you just need to skip this and directly go to solving the question appropriation account for the year end year is ending on december 16 here so we need to make in two columns okay so first of all better we have sales then we have cost of sales and uh, then we have gross profit but there is a difference in this question and what is that this is basically a service business question and how do we found out that uh, lod and harsha are partners in a transport delivery business so they, basically there are some sort of courier business okay courier company logistic company they are transporting the goods and the goods are not their own basically they charge some fare to take the goods from one place to another so therefore it's a service business so beta just remember whenever there is a service business there won't be any inventory in the uh, question and there won't be any sales or sales return and purchase or purchase return or carriage inward or carriage outward there would no be such things so there would be only two headings one would be for income and another heading beta would be for expenses so if you remember beta this is the format that we used uh, when we uh, were studying club accounts okay in club accounts whenever we make not for profit accounts whenever we make the club's uh, main income statement uh, that was named as income and expenditure account but the difference is that in club accounts we used to write uh, uh, surplus or deficit for the year but here we are supposed to not write surplus or deficit instead we are going to write profit or loss for the year why because this is a not a not a not for profit business uh, an, uh, organization this is basically a commercial business okay courier business now let's see beta how this uh, business earns money and first of all beta we have revenue given and we also need to uh, read all the adjustments uh, first of all we have revenue revenue refers to as sales then we have commission receivable it is also an income it would also be written under uh, income heading then we have trade receivable allowance for doubtful debt also known as allowance for or provision for doubtful debt or provision for air recoverable debt we have trade payables bank order driver wages expenses general expenses management salaries there management salary then we have non current assets and provision for depreciation we have capital accounts as in uh, it is a partnership then current account then we have drawings given rent and rate is given beta rent and insurance sorry we have premises repair and delivery vehicle fuel so there are some adjustments here rent is prepaid you are aware the end of the year prepaid is being deducted and insurance is owing owing is accrued accrued is added at the end of the year management salary include the salary paid in full to both partners so basically beta whenever we pay the salary to the partners uh, it is not recorded as an expense instead it should be recorded as a drawing okay so what we need to do we need to uh, uh, credit the management salary expense and we need to debit the drawing then we have the uh, buying and selling of the vehicle data and allowance for doubtful debt is also given okay beta so we have all of these adjustments given and first of all beta we need to write the income such as revenue revenue is how much beta 400 525000 is the revenue let us write these uh, incomes first of all we have revenue 525000 these are the uh, fees that we are charging for transporting the services from our different customers then what uh, other things we have commission receivable is there and this is 16500 this is also an income for the business commission receivable 16500 so there can be uh, one more thing as decrease in provision for doubtful debt let us see quickly whether that doubt is being increased this year or decreased so beta we had trade receivable of 38000 and we don't have any irrecoverable debt so what we need to do we just need to apply the percentage of provision 
and what is the percentage of allowance that is given it is 5 percent if we need to apply 5 percent on 38,000 it is 1900 doubt at the end of the year and how much doubt we had at the start of the year it was 1400 so basically doubt is increasing from 1400 to 1900 so therefore it's not an uh, expense instead it is an income so we just need to add up both of these now the totals for income that we do have is 525,000 plus 16,500 total is 541,500 541,500 this is the total for income uh, now let us go for expenses so let's see better expenses one by one first of all we have allowance for doubtful debt we can write increase in allowance for doubtful debt we have just calculated increase in allowance allowance also known as provision for doubtful debt doubtful debt or irrecoverable debt means the same thing how to do that first of all better we had trade receivables of how much 38,000 and we had a, a percentage provision of 5% we need to apply 5% in order to find this doubt that is 1900 and how much doubt we had at the start of the year it was 1400 so therefore as you can see better doubt is increased by 500 so what other adjustment do we have better driver wages are there and these are 185,000 so these must be expenses driver wages 185,000 sterling then we have journal expenses we have adjustments in few expenses as well and which of those we have uh, adjustment is in rent and insurance and management salary okay rent insurance and management salary so general expenses they are all clear there are no adjustments in that we just need to write 67,000 okay what other expenses do we have better we have management salary yes there is an adjustment worth doing here and what they have done the partner's salary basically they have charged to the management salary so partners are basically owners as well so therefore the owner's salary shouldn't be charged as an expense instead it should be charged as a drawing now the total out of the total 56,000 sir how much is the salary for the partner let's see uh, 8,000 was the salary was for LOD and 12,000 was for Harsha so if we need to uh, we need to add up both of these and the total salary was how much 20,000 so the 20,000 of the salary that relates to the partner shouldn't be charged here instead it should be charged in drawing drawing account okay so do we have any other expenses other than that let us see we need to chart depreciation this year okay we need to chart depreciation this year and let us see better how to calculate depreciation there are two assets one is vehicle delivery vehicle and another is furniture i guess other is computer and equipment so let us see better what is the depreciation uh, method for delivery vehicle sir delivery vehicle depreciation method is 20 percent reducing but the problem is that we have sold one of the vehicle we have bought new vehicle and what is the policy for buying and selling sir no depreciation in the year of purchase so therefore better the vehicle that we have uh, bought this year vehicle f should it be added here because no depreciation should be charged on the new vehicle but the vehicle that we have sold this year should be charged depreciation on that as well okay so the thing is that beta uh, we have the values and basically beta the values that we have should include this vehicle b as well okay why because vehicle b was basically uh, was bought few years back so therefore the vehicle b is already included in this so we just need to uh, do nothing it's easy we just need to deduct cost and provision and then we are left with the book value the cost was 140 this also includes vehicle b and the provision was 50 okay and this also includes uh, the old vehicle okay so we just not need to deduct anything just a need to deduct the cost and provision and we can find the book value 140 minus 50 
okay the cost was 140 and the provision was 50 and we are left with book value and this is how much this must be 90,000 and we need to apply how much 20% yes 20% on this 90,000 so this brings us to the value of 18,000 would be depreciation this year go for next uh, non current asset and the next asset that needs to be depreciated is what this is sir computer and equipment and it is 20% straight line okay so but we haven't bought any computer and equipment the computer and equipment at the start of the year was 50,000 and we just need to apply 20% on that okay 50,000 times 20% this is computer and equipment so we just need to apply 50,000 times 20% this would be 10,000 then with this as well let us see sir do we have any other expenses left let us see we have rent and insurance G beta rent and insurance is 15,800 and as you can see rent and insurance is given as combined and rent is prepaid and insurance is owing so what we need to do beta we need to deduct the prepaid because it belongs to the next year and we need to add, uh, add the owing because this belongs to current year but it is still not yet paid so 15,800 is the total rent and insurance paid and we need to deduct the prepaid and we need to add the owing so minus 500 plus 1250 so these adjustments are important that I am doing here beta these contain marks we cannot we shouldn't be skipping these workings in the exam else they will cost us marks plus 1250 this is the total 16550 is for rent and insurance so are there any expenses left premises repair is given beta premises repair is basically an expense 24000 repair and maintenance premises repair 24000 what else do we have delivery vehicle fuel yes fuel is very important expense delivery vehicles fuel better to write the full name that the examiner is using 106500 so are there still any expenses left let me read the adjustments yes but we have sold one of the vehicle if you remember vehicle b on and that we incurred some loss okay loss on disposal so beta if there is a gain on disposal it should be written as in income and if it's a loss on disposal it should be written as this is in the a part 2 we have already done the a part 2 and the loss was what 3200 okay instead if it was a gain it should be reported under income heading so are there any still any expenses left we are done charging with the depreciation we have also calculated provision for doubtful debt yes so alhamdulillah beta we are done with all of the expenses now it's time to add up all of the expenses okay now let me do the calculation so beta we have calculated total for expenses it's four double six seven five zero and now we can calculate better what we can calculate profit for the year okay we can calculate profit for the year now if we deduct all of the expenses from the incomes we are left with what profit for the year so better if it's a trading business then this would be the final answer the income statement here ends at profit for the year but it's not a trading uh, it's uh, not a sorry it's a, if it's a sole trader business then we would end the answer here but the question clearly stated that it's a partnership and we also need to prepare the appropriation section now sir what is the appropriation account but our appropriation account basically means the profit that we have earned this year this profit now needs to be divided among these two partners okay and what is the format for better appropriation account we would uh, start with the profit for the year and the first thing that we need to add up is add interest on drawings 
add interest on drawing so what is interest on drawing uh, whichever partner does uh, the drawing from the business the partner should be penalized by charging interest on their drawing and why do we do that sir we do that in order to discourage the partners from not drawing one is partner e and one is h so let us see beta how much drawing both of these partners have done during the year and the drawing that they have basically done is interest on drawing is charged 10 percent per annum and the total drawing is 23,000 for LOD and Harsha is 28,500. So, beta, you must remember one thing that whenever partner uh, take out salary from the business, we cannot charge the interest on the salary. Okay. Why? Because the salary is basically the right of the partner. So, therefore, if we are allowing a partner to take the salary and when he or she takes the salary from the business, we cannot charge the drawing on the salary part okay instead we are only going to charge the drawing on anything other than salary anything other than salary so here it is written this is uh, other than salary 23,000 uh, is the drawing done by LOD so we need to charge 10% on the 23,000 23,000 10% would be 2300 and the second partner is Harsha and how much drawing Harsha has done? 28,500. On this 28,500, we need to charge 10%. So this would become 2850. We need to add up both of these values. And as uh, you are aware that we are charging this from partners, so therefore this is the profit that is coming into the business. Now, need to continue this on the next page then beta we uh, have some other things as well in the appropriation account and that is we have to uh, less two things one is interest on capital what is interest on capital beta whenever uh, a partner uh, invest capital into the business what we need to do we need to give that partner his share of interest okay there are two partners e and h so let's see sir how much interest on capital rate is given in the question interest on capital rate is given sir 5% and how much capital both of these partners have invested 40 and 50,000 okay so for E we need to give interest 40,000 on the 5% uh, interest on the 40,000 this would be 2000 I guess and as far as h is concerned the total capital invested by harsha is 50000 and we need to give her interest 5% again this would be 2500 okay so if we add up both of these interest on capital would be deducted as 4500 now there is one more thing last thing that is salary so beta whenever uh, there is a salary of the partner no matter whether the salary has yet been paid or not we just need to write the salary here and how much was the salary for both E and H? Salary was 8,000 for E and 12,000 for H. Okay, 8,000 for E and 12,000 for H. And we need to add up both of these and the 20,000 would be deducted here as well. And finally, beta, that the profit that we are left with would be residual profit or residual loss. And how to calculate that, sir? We would be starting with profit for the year. That is how much? 74750 okay and we need to add interest on drawing only one thing is being added here and we need to deduct better two things that is interest on capital is being deducted as in 4500 and interest or uh, sorry salary is being deducted as 20000 now the amount that left in the business is known as residual profit or residual loss now as you can see it's a positive figure so therefore it would be termed as residual profit And this this share of loss. Sure. But if it's a profit, we need to deduct the profit and we need to divide the profit among two members, two partners. And if instead it's a loss, again the loss should also be divided. So instead of writing less share of profit, then I would be writing add share of loss. So now, beta, this share of 
profit should be divided between the two partners sir and what is the profit and loss ratio if it's written yes the profit and loss ratio should be shared equally now as you can see better there are two partners so we need to share the profit equally so 55 400 should be divided halfway between the two and each of the partner is getting how much share of the residual profit better it's 27,700 and we need to add up and this the total 55 400 this way should be divided between two partners on this profit and loss ratio basis better is we need to prepare the current accounts of the partners now what are the current accounts better current account are basically part of the capital account and why do we prepare current account better we need to prepare current accounts uh, as a matter of the fact that whenever better there is a profit in the business the profit would increase the capital and whenever there is a loss in the business the loss would decrease the capital and whenever there is a drawing would this was also decrease our capital so beta as a sole trader uh, we are not very much worried if the capital goes up and down but uh, being partners uh, we should be uh, not fluctuating the capital account so if we don't want our capital account to be fluctuated uh, anything that uh, fluctuates our capital should be kept in the separate account known as current account now if there are two partners beta we need to make two columns one for e and one for h and if there were three partners then we can make three columns okay just need to write currency dollar or sterling whatever it is so first of all beta in current accounts we have balance bd balance bd now let us see beta uh, whether the balance brought down is already given yes in the trial balance beta uh, opening balances are always given for current account let's see for e it's 4000 credit and for h it's 8300 debit okay so but a credit balance should be written on the credit side and debit balance is an abnormal balance and it must be written on the debit side so why it is an abnormal balance better because normally capital is credit in nature so the current account should also be credit in nature by default okay so therefore we'll be starting with balance bd this is the normal balance this means business needs to pay e4000 and business need to receive this much amount from h because h has overdrawn the money from the business okay now whatever we need to give it to the partners should be credit in here such as interest on capital so sir have we already calculated interest on capital yes it's 2000 for e and 2500 for h what else do we need to give the partners better we need to give the salary to the partners and what was the partner's salary 8000 for e and 12000 for h we also need to give them share of profit better profit increases our capital so therefore share of profit must always come on the credit side how much is the residual profit it's 27700 and if it was a loss the loss should come on the debit side then the drawing beta must always come on the debit side so how much drawing both of these partners have done these both partners beta have done drawing of this so uh, there are two ways now to account for the salary there are two methods uh, one method is that we can add the salary also in the drawing here why because we are aware that both of the partners have been paid their share of the salary okay but if we don't want to add up here in the drawing we can also make a separate entry with the name of salary drawing okay so let me write uh, these original drawing figures here and we can make another entry as well uh, with the name of salary drawing 23,000 and 28,500 is the salary uh, uh, is the drawing other than salary okay but these partners have also drawn their salary so we also need to make another entry as salary drawing and this salary drawing entry would only be made when the question clearly states that we have paid the salary to the partners and if the question doesn't mention that we have paid the salary to the partners we just need to credit the salary here and we should not be debiting the salary here okay then if it's a share of loss better the share of loss should be written here but it's not here and we can also write the interest on drawing here okay if the drawing is coming on the debit side so the interest on drawing must also come on the debit side interest on drawing beta we are already found out 2300 and 2850 2300 and 2850 
एंड फाइनली बेटा इट्स टाइम टू बैलेंस दिस करेंट अकाउंट नाउ लेट एस सी हाउ टू बैलेंस दिस करेंट अकाउंट वी जस्ट नीड टू एड अप द साइड्स एंड लेट सी विच एवर साइड इज बिगर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर दिस पार्टनर पार्टनर ई नाउ एज फार एज पार्टनर ई इज कंसर्न द बिगर साइड सीम्स टू बी क्रेडिट साइड लेट एस एड द क्रेडिट साइड फर्स्ट फोर थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन सेवन हंड्रेड इट्स फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फॉर ई ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड एंड द बिगर साइड बेटर शुड कम ऑन द बोथ ऑफ द साइड्स and the shorter side balance now would becomes a balance cd let's deduct 23000 8000 and 2300 so this is 8400 balance cd this balance cd beta is coming on the credit side and this would becomes balance bd at the start of next accounting period now if the balance brought down is coming on the credit side so therefore it's a normal balance and then we have part h 2500 12000 and 27700 again uh, this seems as the bigger side let us confirm that 42200 is the credit side let us add the debit side first 12000 and 2850 now this is the bigger side uh, for part a, partner h 51650 so the bigger side balance beta should come on both of the sides and the shorter side balance would now become balance cd we need to deduct all of these shorter side balance from the greater side balance in order to find this balance cd the balance cd is coming on the credit side for partner h then the balance brought down beta would come on the opposite side balance cd should always comes before the totals before the totals and balance brought down should come after the totals so this is the credit balance for e and this is the debit balance that is abnormal balance